Well, I, I say we move on to uh, another segment that I, that I love very much, and that is the small town news. And I think uh, we have a new intro for we the We do. Uh, Hold on just a second. News. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's play this and see how it works. Hope this thing works. It's messing around today. This is uh, Justin Clyde's new jingle for the small town news segment. Thank you, Justin. We're just small town dudes with small town news. Breaking stories of crimes committed you never do. Mind your P's and Q's or they'll cover you. The town may be small, but the news is huge. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that works. <coughs> what do you have Justin? for us today, Mr. Sean Setzer Sebastian? Well, we got a good one today, boys. A good one today. All right, I'm going to bring this up. Alan, you pulled the video up. I think there's an advertisement first. Oh, yeah, we got a, we, we, In her driveway. Right, we already got past the uh, Did you? advertisement. Okay. okay. After, catching a, right. after catching a jogger defecating in her driveway. Well, stop talking. Sean, do you want to read anything first? Yeah. After I'll catching a jogger please, defecating yeah, in her driveway. First year, Alan's got the sure, pause. No, you got it. I got it paused. <laughs> okay. Right. So, um, what we have last week, it was the tampon bandit. Tampon bandit. Yep. The maxi pad bandit. Maxi pad bandit. That's what it's week. called. Oh, by the way, um, Jody agreed with one of you, and I forgot mm-hmm. whose point it was. Because Jody know, listened to it. Female hygiene mm-hmm. and you guys. And she, and remember when I said we need a female in here? Yeah. And she was listening. She goes, I agree with you. She agrees with, maybe it was your point, that he had a bandana on. Okay. And he simply put the maxi pads over his bandana, which was already on his head, which is why it looked thick. Hey. Yeah. That was your point. Okay. He had a I think. Uh, that, he had a that poses more questions for me. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so, so if a bandana could he not have already... unraveled the bandana so and the covered band... his whole head? Well, there's that. And if you did think for some reason covering your eyes was the key to this yeah. robbery, and the bandana is already doing that, then why do you need the pad on top as well? I don't get it, yeah. but that's why it looks so thick. Okay. Yeah. Right. Look, I remember. I remember saying that looks like a diaper to me. Yeah, it really did look. Yeah. Okay, so it was just something <laughs> on top of something already wrapped right, around his head. Right. Either way, he was an idiot. Yeah, that still, was the maxi pad band. That was the maxi episode pad one of Country. Don't get this confused with this week's edition of the poop bandits. Oh, poop oh, bandit! Oh, so he, he wait. He covered his face with poop. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll get to it. Um, before I read this, mm-hmm. this is not a um, one event thing. This is a this is an epidemic going this across is, the country right a now. Serial. This is a yeah. serial event. So I've heard of this. this with the seriousness <clears throat> that, it, that it should entail. Yeah. And also, I thought it would be kind of cool while we're going through this story, through the the words, the actual me reading the, the news story and the video that we have. Okay. Maybe we could keep a tally. Of how many great poop innuendos, <laughs> bathroom innuendos yeah. we can count from the newscasters, oh, from doing the newscasters, the okay. from the riders. Oh, yeah, because they, right. they do that. They they, they, oh, they love doing stuff. They like love that. getting you, and you got to. They stay love doing with crap them. like that. Oh, oh I got it. a head start. Yep, that's it. Mark, that's the first one. You ready for Number this? One. Ding ding. They you want to count it off? They love doing shit like that. <laughs> Should we count in our heads yeah. or just uh, out loud? Or what do you want to do? Mark, you go ding and we'll keep it every time. I want you to do the bell thing to, every time. <laughs> okay. The bell thing. <laughs> What's that? I want so you we're going to ring the bell. Score. Yeah, okay. Every time there's an innuendo. Got it. You ring That's, the bell. And Mark's uh, going to keep the count. I'll test it. On my fingles. And yep. he, if he runs out of fingles, he'll get his toes <laughs> Got out. Got it. Yes. Okay. Okay. If we get All the right. toes, that'll be kind of funny anyway. So. All right. so this is every time they make a poop joke. Yes, every poop joke it. or related poop joke. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me uh, get this queued up. Box 16 is Victoria. All right. Okay, so here we go. In a nationwide movement, first a mad pooper. Movement. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. That That's already one. awesome. You got that one. You yeah. got it. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you got me on that one. I'm not even ready for it. First a mad pooper jogger struck in Colorado Springs in September. First one. Mm-hmm. Then number two. <laughs> <laughs> struck last month in Orchard Park, New York. Now it's happening for a third time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Not I love third, it. But third. A third time. Uh, did it really say that? Has been it really says a third time. Yeah, in a neighborhood in Hillcrest, Arkansas. All right, we're going to see the video here in just a second. Tiffany of of Hillcrest neighborhood is going to tell her story. Okay, about what happened to her. 
All right. So we're going to watch Tiffany's story. Let's watch this story. Now, I think there's some the windows in the video, too. So yeah, I'm ready. the video. Be ready. Keep hitting them. All right. Yeah, Price speaking with the woman trying to flush this guy oh. out of her neighborhood, Victoria. Hey, and Kevin, this is not just a one-time thing. Whoever this guy is, he's apparently making a habit of doing this all along his running route. Now, neighbors don't know if this is just a gross prank or something a bit more concerning. But if it is a joke, I'll tell you what, these neighbors are not laughing. I thought that is the most bizarre thing I ever Tiffany Madzela had barely set off for breakfast Saturday morning. As I came around to get in the passenger side um, of the vehicle. When she quickly lost her appetite. I noticed a huge pile of feces. Assuming a big dog and irresponsible owner were to blame, she and her fiance um, went back to look at their security cameras. When we did, it, we found out it was not a dog. It was a person that had been jogging down the street who had run up, come in between the cars, and then uh, defecated okay. in between the cars yeah, she, and yeah, ran away. Yes, so she posted so, on nextdoor.com asking for the, the people poop. listening to this podcast. That's true. Yeah, we ain't listeners. Who can't see this. Yeah, good point. There's two cars. It's a ring doorbell system, security camera, whatever. And this dude was jogging. He ran in between the cars real quick. Mm-hmm. Dropped his deuce and then ran. Well, I'm play Coming it back. Just the cars and then he's in between the cars in yeah. between the cars and ran away. So, so, she so, so, so you didn't see asking for anything the poop. happen because he was hidden in the cars. Right. So there's plausible deniability. Right. So maybe there's a little bit just, of a plot. Maybe hole he there. just runs around holding poop in his hand and then throws it between cars. Could. Or maybe he was running between cars and then. Stop because he saw poop. What's that? About? Oh, somebody maybe else. the poop and was already ran. there. And maybe he ran. And he off. went over there just he to just get a look at. Always it. be hitting the spots where somebody's already been pooping, and right, it's making him look bad. But but this person saw that on their security camera, and I they believe did. we're going to find out more. Okay. Greater to come and clean it and ran away. So she posted on nextdoor.com asking for the poop trader to come and clean it up. We understand that accidents happen. The mess remained, but accidents still happen. Tiffany went about her business. No. Yeah. That That's is, it. until she tried to leave for work on Wednesday. I reached for my door handle, and I actually reached and grabbed it and touched it. A soiled piece of paper towel oh. tucked up inside her car door handle. I mean, it was vile. Surveillance footage appears to show the same jogger who got down and dirty in her driveway days so earlier. Right there. Tiffany okay, once again took to social right media. There. The neighborhood. So the first time could have been, huh? Oh, I just had a, I just had a go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. But then she puts it all over the neighborhood. If you know, what's that? That, that. Next it was door, next door. Next door. Next door. It's, it's more a, like neighborhoods can kind yeah. of like a neighborhood watch. Notes, like a yeah. neighborhood watch thing. Yeah. Yeah. So the next time, I guess he found out about that. Right. He's oh. like, oh, I'll fix you. So you're implying, Sean, if I'm hearing you yeah. correctly, revenge. that this is a revenge thing. It is a revenge thing. It's yeah. not a, he just is a serial pooper in places. It's, he only did it one time, mm-hmm. but because he got called out and reprimanded so publicly for it. Right. He's now... He's now on a revenge. He's targeting path. them, and he's putting the he's paper towel with them. poop on it in the door handle on that same car. It's not like he's doing it at other na- houses in the same neighborhood. Maybe it's the same car, isn't or it? Is he? It's, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. We gotta listen. I guess. Oh, so go. Poop bandit. Poop bandit. Oh, well, hold on. She handled. She, she made I mean, it was vile. Surveillance footage appears to show the same okay, so John who got down and dirty in her driveway days earlier. Tiffany once again took to social media. The neighborhood's calling him bandit. Since then, a number of her Hillcrest neighbors have come out claiming they too are victims of Lots the of bandit. On One even going like. so far as to writing a letter to the man he thinks is responsible. I think that was really concerning is, you know, that it is a pattern. Tiffany has since notified the police because stopping the number two in her driveway. I hope they do find him. And I do hope that he finds some help. Well, that's her number one priority. (laughs) A criminal mischief report has been filed, and Little Rock police assure me that they are looking into this. Kevin and Donna. Is there a pattern here in terms of when this is supposedly taking place? Is this an early morning job? Yes. (laughs) Because that's what I like to do, Rhonda. Both morning, Saturday morning and this morning, just about 645 on the dot both times. 645. Now, as for the other neighbors, I don't know, but it's a similar pattern from what we've heard. (laughs) Early in the morning, seems to be associated with a jogger and it seems to be happening across other other streets and homes uh, you in know, Hellcrest, wait, so. it's horrible other and streets, i mentioned this yeah, to you other homes so that means i'm not right about that he's doing it uh, well others. but he could be spreading out 
<laughs> because the whole community's now started like bashing him online. Oh, so now he's so he's picking them out. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. So the ring doorbell, the security camera, neighborhood watch system, whatever it was, she said. There must be a social media aspect to it yeah. because they, we saw a lot of people leaving comments. Yeah. This dude's probably on there. He probably lives there. Oh, yeah. He's and actually he's, in the, And knows the people. So he's like, oh, I see what Jeannie oh, wrote. look what Jeannie oh. wrote. Well, she might this get a little surprised tomorrow at 645 yeah. a.m. <laughs> oh, this dude's, uh, yeah, he really is a poop bandit. I think he's. And he's targeting people. He's targeting people. <laughs> right if you want to watch the whole version the entire episode click on this little square right here or if you just want to subscribe and watch them later click on that little bubble right there and thank you